We'll do a quick introduction to William Grinnell's The Christian in Complete Armor. Uh, originally it was written in 1655, it was updated in 1986 by the Banner of Truth Press, and I'll be reading the modern version. There are lots of other readings of the older version. Uh, I'll talk more about that in detail on a longer uh, clip at the end of this video. Um, but what I want to tell you right now is this is going to be a long project. It's going to take uh, several years. The book, the three volumes of the book are over a thousand pages. And um, I read about a page a day. So that tells you it's going to be a while. And um, it might take several years. So if you want to if you really want to get into it faster than, than that, you really need to buy the book. And I'll talk about that in the thing at the end. But right now, uh, if, you want to, if you want to go back to the beginning, uh, if you just got this one clip, you can go down at the bottom and click on my name, James Skies, and it will take you to my uh, YouTube page that has a list of different things on it. And one of those is playlist. If you click on a playlist, you will find on that playlist among maybe some other things uh, a listing of the readings from Grinnell's Christian and Complete Armory click on that and they will be in order um, all of them that I have when you click on that so you can watch them all from the beginning and however many you want it I don't I, the, the, the readings are so good that I don't think they necessarily need to be in order not that the readings are good but the, the writing was good uh, I'm not professional at all uh, my reading skills have improved since I've started, and I'm assuming they'll get a little bit better, and my video editing skills are the same. I've, you know, sometimes I'm quirky. I mean, yeah, there's, there's no question about that. I'm quirky, and part of my quirkiness is doing these videos with different backgrounds, and that's what you'll see. I try to do a different background in each one, and um, I guess I've done too much talking. Let's get to the reading. Uh, I hope this, I pray that this will bless you as much as it blessed me. So let's go. Okay. Welcome to the 33rd reading in William Grinnell's The Christian in Complete Armor. And we're continuing the series in front of uh, churches in Carrollton, Kentucky. And. Uh, with a, with a side focus on unity in the body of Christ. And this one's right next to a gas station, so people are pulling in to go to the gas station as, as we're doing this. I'll move over on the other side of the street in just a minute. But, Father God, we want to pray that uh, the unity in the body of Christ in Carrollton, Kentucky, and around the world does take place. Uh, we love you, Lord, and we trust that you will bring us together, and we're also asking for the people who watch this video in the series the whole long series to be continually continually focusing on keeping their armor on tight uh, so that they can uh, fight off the devil stand their ground this is faith community church and that's all i know about it uh, that's one side of their marquee sign and there's the building and we'll go over to the other side of the marquee sign. But you see what their message is for the people driving by to see. And again, we are uh, we're on the section of Grinnell's book in chapter two, on page 36. Excuse me, 63 of volume one, um, where we're discussing. the unarmed center the dim prospects of the unarmed center and we're on the fourth focus point the friendship with satan with sin and satan and we've seen that a little bit enough i think i'm going to move over here in front of the you can kind of see inside this one this is a little like a storefront church i guess a little well there i go i get over here where i'm not being reflected uh you see that gas station across the road We'll get where you can see a little bit better inside here and see what's going on in this church. How they love Jesus in their way. We'll put this right here. And it's nothing but a reflection. That's not good. All right, we'll go back over here where it's not such a bad reflection. It's 
Somebody that was more professional might edit these things out, but I think I'm just showing you what I go through. This is how I do it. I'm certainly not a professional YouTuber, and I'm not a professional reader. Okay, here we are. Friendship with Satan, with sin and Satan. Reading 33. A soul that refuses to put on Christ declares himself a rebel and makes himself the enemy of God. I think that we can safely say that whoever is God's enemy must be Satan's friend. And how will you make someone fight against his own friend? Is Satan divided? Will the devil fight within? Will the devil within fight against the devil without? Sometimes Satan and a carnal heart appear to scuffle, but it's a farce. Like the pairing of two fencers on stage. You would think at first they were in earnest. But when you see how wary they are and where they strike one another, you soon know that they do not mean to kill. And when he's talking about fencers, remember this was written in 1655. This prob he's probably not talking about what we see with the guys in the white suits and the little thin foils. We're talking about fencers that probably were swinging swords. But still, they were not earnest what they were doing. It says you would think at first they were in earnest, but when you see how wary they are and where they strike one another, you soon know that they do not mean to kill. Any doubt is removed when you see them after the match making merry together with the proceeds from their performance. Likewise, and this, this would be like in 1655, it'd have been two guys like the Three Musketeers. You know, they're fighting with real swords and playing and then they go have a drink at the bar afterwards, I think. That's what he's talking about. Likewise, when you see an unrepentant heart make a great show against sin, follow him off the stage of good works where he has gained the reputation of a saint by playing the hypocrite. There you will doubtless see him and Satan together in a corner as friendly as ever. I think we're discussing true Christianity here versus somebody that's just putting on a show. And that is the same in 2022 as it was in 1655. Uh, so much of the spiritual battle that we're talking about is the same, even though the physical battle, you know, we may use much more advanced physical weapons than were used in 16, 1655, but the intent was the same and the spiritual fight was the same. Father God, we love you. We thank you again for putting us in your army, side, but remind us to keep our full armor on and keep it up tight so that those arrows from the evil one can't get through anywhere. Cover us up all around. We love you, Lord. We thank you for being in your army. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, I said at the beginning that I was going to have a little bit more detail about how to buy the book. I've looked on Amazon and through bookstores and Kindle, and uh, there are the, the original version from the Old English in 1655 of Grinnell's book is available in a lot of places. The updated version from 1986 is a little bit harder to find. It's available, the book, the printed book, is available on Amazon and it's available on other places, but uh, I, I wasn't able to find any digital versions or any audio versions. Um, so, um, again, if you want to continue to listen to this, YouTube people will always talk about subscribing and liking and all that stuff, and that, that uh, that's for partially for their benefit and partially for the benefit of the message. I, I really don't, right now, I've got 41 subscribers when I'm doing this, and each one of these videos is getting 10 or 12 uh, views. So uh, I'm not in this to make money. That's that's not what I'm doing. But um, if you, I, 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 would, I would like for the message to get out. I think the, uh, Mr. Grinnell's, thoughts on the, the battle that we Christians are in, the spiritual battle, are profound and are a blessing. Uh, they're certainly not a replacement for daily Bible reading. Uh, my wife and I read scripture every day. We read it aloud every day and we discuss it every day. Uh, so this is not a replacement for that. And I don't want anybody to think that, but it, it's, it, it's good to expand on even if it is just 9, 10, 11 verses of Scripture, Ephesians 6, 10 through 18, um, 
to, the spiritual battle is so important that it's not a bad idea to spend a thousand readings on that, which is what this may turn out to be. So, uh, again, I want to encourage you to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification thing. That way, you'll know each time that I put out one of these uh, one of these videos over the next few years. And uh, there's a link down below in the description of uh, this video. In every video, there's a link to that playlist. But also, if you click on my name uh, at the bottom, it'll take you to my YouTube page. And you can click on playlist there and find uh, all of these readings in the Christian, for the Christian in Complete Armor uh, on a playlist on my YouTube page. And certainly like it. I think what happens if you like the video, it, it's YouTube's algorithm sends it out to more people. And you, that may be how you receive this. And this may be the only or the first video you watched. Uh, you certainly don't need to watch this uh, this clip at the end more than once or twice, but I would like it. If, I would appreciate it if you subscribed. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna trudge or not trudge through. That's the wrong word. I'm going to soldier through and complete this book um, unless the Lord takes me home, like I said. So uh, I, I want to let you know that I am thankful to uh, the Lord that you've listened this far, and I love. I love my Savior, and I am a faithful soldier in his army, and I ask you to be the same. God bless you.